it's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome back to another episode of Finish It Friday. So for Finish It Friday, I have this container that I've been putting, that I put uh, little pieces of paper in. <laughs> and they are, they have written on them uh, crochet kits and things that I have, have had for a long time and either purchased, given to me, gifted to me, um, that I have never worked on. And so I thought that, it, oh, and then some sleeping whips and things in here too. So I thought that would be a fun way to inspire me myself to get the, you know, start working in some of these kits and also work on the, some of the sleeping whips I've had, I have laying around. So that's what I did, I've been doing. I'm picking at, picking one out each week, working on that project, coming back the next Friday and showing you the finished project so far. I've been finishing it in one week. And so then I will pick out, a, you know, a new project. So last week I picked out a, a piece of paper that said Dachshund Kit. And it's this kit right here. I got it off of Amazon. Now, I did try to put a link below last week's video where you could get this kit from Amazon. But when I looked on Amazon, they didn't have it anymore. Um, so anyway, it's a kit. It, the, the yarn it came with, I did not like. It was very, very hard to work with. I don't know what kind of, it was like a cord type stuff. So, but I really, th I th I really thought it was going to turn out cute to have it, you know. And so, uh, I mean, to make it. And so I decided to use my own yarn, but use the pattern. And so that's what I did. And I did end up using worsted weight yarn because I had the dark brown that I wanted to use for it. And so I did finish it. So this is my finished dachshund. <laughs> The pattern was very interesting the way it was made, especially the body part. It was very interesting. The head was done separate. Uh, you started at the nose, and I did happen to have a plastic safety nose, so I was able to use that. Uh, you started at the nose, and you had some color working here to change the colors. And then you uh, increased for the head, came around, and, and finished it off here in the back. And so the head was separate. I had to make the ears separate, sew them on. The, um, oh, I didn't bring them in here, but the, the white around the eyes, I had bought these felt circles, pre-cut circles off of Amazon, and I thought that would be so good to, like, uh, cut a hole in the center of that felt circle and then stick the safety eyes in, and that would be the whites of the eyes, and I wouldn't have to do the stitching on it, and the, um, I was hoping that if the circles were big enough, I wouldn't have to uh, trim, you know, because I hate cutting felt. It's very difficult for me to cut felt and get the shape just right. I don't know why. But anyway, <laughs> um, so I did that, although the, the felt circles were too big. So I did have to cut them down. So I did have to do some cutting on them, trimming on them. But I think they did. I did pretty well. And uh, as you can see here, there's a light piece of yarn that's like, kind of like an eyebrow. Well, I was thinking it was like the eyelid when I was working on it. And so I did put a little bit of this buff yarn um, on the top there. And I think it worked out really well, but I think really when after I looked at it, I think it was supposed to be up higher like a little eyebrow type thing that do the dachshunds have. It looks like an eyebrow it's because of the coloring. I didn't do that. And I thought, well, I could go back and do it. But, um, I don't know. I'll look at it a while and see, decide if I want to do that or not. But I do like the way the eyes came out. And, of course, that white felt did help to make the safety eyes stand out against this really dark yarn. This is a Red Heart Super Saver in the colorway Coffee. And uh, the, the light color is buff. Okay, and so, like I said, you did the head separate and then the, and the tail was separate. I'm trying to think. Then, let's see. I'm trying to remember. No, you started... The, 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 the feet are crocheted into the body. I thought I was going to have to make the four separate feet and then sew them on. But you started at the back here, and you did a long strip of chain, and you start working around that to make this, like, oval type shape and as you were doing that you got a certain um width and then you start doing where you, there's no increasing and that makes it go down 
And then when you get down to this point where the leg, the legs are about to, where you need to put them, they are formed in there. It's very interesting the way it was made. Um, I really like that. It, it, it saved me from having to put the, the legs in. <laughs> and then for the belly, you, you started on one side and you, you just made this like a flap, basically, that when you got it the width that it said to do, then you just flapped it. You filled up your body and into the legs of this, with stuffing. And then you flapped it over <laughs> and then you sewed it down. And so, yeah, it worked out really well. I was I was very impressed. And first, when I was reading the pattern, I was like, oh, my goodness, I don't know what they're talking about. It was very hard for me to read. But then I thought, okay, well, I know from experience, if I try to read, like, the whole pattern ahead of time, I'll get totally confused. And so I try not to do that because sometimes it'll kind of keep me from trying it you know and and so um i thought okay i'm just going to take it one line at a time one stitch at a time and try to figure out what they're talking about and so when i got to that point and i could actually see my work then i'm like oh that's what they're wanting me to do and so i was able to figure it out uh, now the uh i believe yeah on on the i don't know if you can see it i'll show you the picture but there's i mean it's uh, see under the chin right there under the chin there's a bell there's supposed to be a bell that is attached to the collar well I, I don't know what happened to it I know it came in the kit and I thought I had it here and I, I don't have it I don't know but I've got some bells but they're too big and so I thought well I'll just put the collar and leave it just like that until and that was just a chain that I wrapped around there and then tuck the tuck tight in the back tuck the ends in. Anyway, if I find the bell or come across a bell, <laughs> I, I may have some bells probably in some of my stash here that is small enough that I will add it later. But anyway, there is my dachshund. So I did take that paper and uh, take that out of the box, okay, because I did the kit or well, yeah, I did my own yarn, but I did the pattern. So there you go. <laughs> and so now I'm ready to uh, pick, to pick. Sorry, my throat is a little bit irritated because as you as, remember, I mentioned that we got like three inches of rain. Well, it rained again last night. I don't know. I, I didn't look to see how much. But anyway, so of course now the mold is ramping up. And so <clears throat> I'm a little, little irritated there. Anyway, <laughs> um, so let's pick a new project. <laughs> To see what the next project's going to be. Okay. So here is my bowl. Make sure I'm going to grab one of these papers. I'm not looking. And I'll try to only uh, pick one. Is that just one? Yes. Okay. So let's see what it is. Ah, it's another kit. You know, somebody was asking me, well, you haven't picked any of the sleeping whips yet. I know then that weird. <laughs> but anyway, this is the donut kit. So let me get that. Hang on. Okay, so here is the kit. Now, this was a Christmas gift, and I remember my, my daughter-in-law gave it to me a couple of Christmases ago. And as you can see, I hadn't made it yet. I feel really bad about that. But anyway, so I'm going to make it. And so, as you can see, is a chocolate-covered donut. I'm not sure. It looks like, I wonder how big it's going to be. I'm not sure. Uh, it might say, uh, does it say? I uh, don't know. But let's open the kit, and we will see what all is in here, okay? So let me open it. Sorry about the crinkling. Let's see. I think I'll get some scissors to open it, and maybe that will make it where it's not quite as noisy. But my drawer is bursting at the seams down here. <laughs> okay. I got scissors. Let me slice that open. Okay. Okay, so it comes with stuffing, and it comes with, here's the instruction booklet, and let's see if, if it says what size. Ah, uh, it doesn't say. Looks like it's a good pattern. I mean, it looks like it's written well, and there's, oh, there's even, well, this is, I think, yeah, this is just like, um, 
basic stitches teaching those. So the actual pattern is back here. Um, yeah, here it is. Finished size approximately um, 3.75 inches across and one and a quarter inch um, high. So, you know, that size. So you know who's going to get this when I get it finished. <laughs> of course, the grandbaby, since I've been making crocheted food for him. So yes, he will be getting this donut for his bakery. <laughs> oh, this is going to be cute. Okay, so um, it shows different colors of donuts, but I believe uh, the kit, I think it just is just showing you examples. Let me see the inside cover here. I think I saw, yeah, right here. See, it shows you different examples on how you can do the donuts, but um, it is for the chocolate one. Okay, so it's got the yarn. Looks like it's DK weight yarn, possibly, but it does have the yarn. And it does have uh, some small bits here for the sprinkles on the top, okay? It does come with a yarn needle, and it is a metal one, which is great. I love those. And it does come with a crochet hook. This is a four millimeter, so that would be a G hook. I will probably use mine since I like to use the ergonomic ones, you know, the, with the squishy handles. But, yeah, it does come with a hook. And that's it. So, yeah, I'm so excited to get this uh, done. Get another one of the kits made. So, donut kit, since I, this is the only one I have, this kit, I'm going to take the paper out of my container, and I will put that back, the lid back on. Yay! <laughs> okay, so that's what I'm going to be doing this next week. I'm sure I'll be able to get it done. It doesn't look like it's going to be... Uh, take me very long to do it. So uh, come back next week and I will have the finished donut for you. Um, somebody had t emailed me and was asking me about finished object when I did my finished object yesterday in my video, uh, the episode 372. And I said that I had that mushroom tote for the finished object. And I, what I had been doing is I've been showing the finish it Friday project, which was that little sloth that I made, and I didn't show it. And the reason I didn't show it is because I already put it in the box and it sent it went, um, you know, I shipped it off to the Garfield make along for the, for Amber of Ooh Ah Crochet, the little items I made and packaged up to send to her. Plus there was a viewer, Kelly, who had sent me a package of items to send in there, backpack buddies and things. So I included hers in there and it did, it did get shipped off and it'll be for, to be given, donated to the elementary school that the, the her kids, Amber's kids attend and they use them as rewards and things for different things. So anyway, that it got shipped off. So that's why I didn't show the sloth yesterday, but technically I had two finished objects that week. <laughs> okay. Um, so I guess that is it. Short video today. I'm on my way to get groceries. I have to go to gro get groceries. So I'll be going to Walmart. Of course, when you see this, I've already done it and come back, but I wanted to film it before I went while, you know, my hair was still fresh instead of going and shopping and, and all that entails. <laughs> and so I thought I'd come in here first and do the video, but you will be seeing it, of course, later after, after the fact. Okay, I'm going to go. Everybody have a wonderful weekend this weekend and come back on, let me think. I'll probably come back before Wednesday. I need to do an update, my final update on the I Heart Grannies um, bag that I've been doing, that collab. I need, I need to get working on that. I got one more side to do for the top part and I will be finished. So I'm hoping that I will be getting that finished this weekend. And then so probably either... Maybe Monday, depends. But Monday, maybe I'll get a video out to show that final project for that. And then, of course, the Crafting with Friends on Wednesday. And then I'll let you know what I did over the weekend. Okay, I'm going to go. Everybody have a great evening and great weekend, like I said. <laughs> and we will see you in the next video. Bye.